within the last eight weeks, we've been tested as if we've never really been tested like this before. We wake up and we are ready for any challenges. I am the owner and founder of Makina Cafe, an Eritrean and Ethiopian food truck. We live in New York, we operate in New York City. Obviously, New York is right now the epicenter of coronavirus. And as you can see, both of our trucks have been parked for the last couple of weeks. Um, if you walk in with me to our commercial kitchen, this normally during the week and on the weekend, we have about three vendors, about 20 employees, music playing, busy taking delivery, taking catering. Right now, that's pretty much non-existent. Most small businesses that have decided to open up uh, for pickup and for delivery have already set that up. Reality is pickup and delivery is not paying New York City rent. Reality is it's not really keeping the lights on. Here we are, month two, going on month three, rents are due, um, electricity bill, gas bill, all the other expenses. Our goal is to keep working so that we can maintain to keep our staff until this is all over. We're having to really maneuver and, and really be in the mindset of war. That's what it feels like. Being in New York right now, it feels like we're in war. So this is one of the programs that we signed up for, feeding the workers in the hospital. We just finished packing up some of our delicious chicken dips and some vegetables for the hospital workers uh, based in Flushing, Queens. We just prepared um, 125 meals. We're going to be feeding those heroes of ours that have been working really hard and fighting saving so many lives. Um, Queens has been hit really, really bad with the coronavirus, so this is really an honor for us to be able to, to do this and be able to provide some, some good food for them. Right now, I'm driving on Grand Central Parkway, and this road usually would be packed. Um, a city that's known to never sleep, it's actually sleeping, and it's a very strange uh, feeling. You feel it in every neighborhood. You hear the sirens every two minutes. One of the things that I keep thinking about in my head is that um, we've gone through, my family and I have gone through struggles in our life and this is just another form of struggle and it's just going to take us a little bit of time to figure out and to adjust to it but we'll manage, we'll manage, we'll adapt. I can get up, leave my hometown and my country and go to a different country, learn a language, learn the culture and adapt to it and love it and embrace it like mine, then this virus is just another challenge. We just wanted to say thank you so much. We're gonna get through this together. Help your local business, support, support, support. This is how we're gonna get through this. And we're in this together. Thank you.